Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we are in what I believe is the beyond again. To hopefully get this uh, problem fixed. Enough of that now. It's time. The axe is sharp. She won't feel a thing. No, please. This one is my friend. There are other sows. Why not slaughter them? The other sows will be eaten too. If we are to survive the winter, there must be a fat larder and few mouths. Come, enough of this childishness. Excuse me. I'll see it done. Okay, yeah, that's what I got. All right. You'll fight with the fury of Tuamawai in all his forms. You have endured what few others might, my chosen. I am Eruke, the surviving face. It is good to finally meet you in person. I wish to see you return to your proper place. But the other faces conspire against us. My pig? Ah. Watchers all see the past and present of souls muddled as one. I... I appreciate the condolence. She was a good friend. But only the first of many I outlived. I came to this island when I was very young. It was a time of chaos and suffering throughout the dead fire. Okay, I'm pretty much going to have to go ahead and go through all the dialogue options to get this to get the good ending, hopefully. I enjoyed the remainder of my life in this inhospitable place. A very long life. All of it spent as nature would will it. Now I am as you see me. The most enduring of the faces of the hunt. We are talons shared upon one clawed hand. Though possessed of our own names, our own eyes and minds, we have united in purpose. That don't exactly explain things. We serve Tawamawai and care for his crucible. This is Tawamawai's domain. One of the great hunter's many dens in the beyond. Here, the souls of those who fought and died in his honor may rest until the time of need, when Tawabamai will absorb their cunning and feast on their might. Though you could not walk there from here, you are, in a fashion, still on Kazuwari. This place exists within and beneath its great statue. From here, we oversee the Crucible Games. I invited you here that the others wouldn't, that you would arrive unblinded and unaffected. The others would use you to escape this place. They mistake it for a prison. I would prefer that be prevented. Wahami. The slaying face has destroyed the flow of souls. To leave this place, you must subdue him. His desecration must be undone. Well, 
Wahabi shattered the spine of Seoul. <coughs> now, those who perish in the crucible do not move on to meet the wheel. They clog this place, or they linger above. Regardless, they wail and rage. It seems utter madness to violate this place. But now I know he longs to escape. Or perhaps only to avenge himself on Tuamawai. Perhaps your arrival is the Hunter God's reply. Leave this place? How then would I serve Tawamawai? He chose me to embody his will to survive. And it is a role I shall proudly enact for all eternity. Trust is for prey. But ignore my words and you <coughs> will remain here forever. Every Slayer must meet its batch eventually. Perhaps Bahami's time is nigh. But his wrath has served Tawamawai well. And it will serve him as well. Consider attempting reason. Even if Wahami's nature will likely force a conflict. Wahami's grip on the flow of souls must be loosened. After that, well, you are a watcher. I hope that you know more of these things than I do and can repair the damage the slaying face has wrought. Axica, the Seeking Face, also resides in this place. She may know how best to handle Wahami. If not, then the Slaying Face will certainly understand violence. Indeed, I'm sure he'd prefer it. It would be stranger if all of this seemed normal to you. How may I enlighten? Tuamawai's realm is not easily understood. Do you not see his ribs, his eyes, his blood? This place is Tuamawai. So to get the feeling, Cap, that this god of theirs be a fat bit of hornswoggle made up to fit whatever boots they need it to. Do you think? His presence surrounds us. Listen, and you will hear his roars and purrs. But since the shattering of the spine of souls, he has grown quieter. We are within the heart of the Crucible. The pool of memories was simply the entry. If you are trying to figure out where you are, the closest answer is that your soul resides within the statue of the faces of the hunt. I think that means we can summon up a fight? Don't go straining your buoy hollow head trying, farmer. Wait, we ain't a talking statue too now, are we? Our task is to sing the Crucible into action, providing the means for a true contest of skill. Though we conjure opponents for the contest, we do not control them, nor interfere in battle. To meddle would defeat this place's purpose. How can we say the best hunter is the best if the hunt is staged? Then ask, and perhaps I can lead you to clarity. I suspect she sensed the disruption in the flow of souls after Wahabi made his mark. 
I fear the slow death of this place, or the wrathful return of Tawamawai, should the spine remain broken. All who die in the Crucible pass through this place. But only the three of us, Ohami, Axika, and I remain to honor the Hunter God. Since Wahami damaged the pillar, I have spotted momentary glimpses of other souls. Lost, wayward, and transient. I imagine this will continue until the souls can properly return to the wheel. No. Always the three of us. I can't recall a time without the others. Perhaps Wahami believes he can burden you with his role as the slaying face and escape this place. Right fitting title for you, I oh, can't... I assumed such a thing impossible, but Tuamawai guy... Okay, sorry that took so long, but... Um, unfortunately, dialogue does need to do that. <clears throat> this island belongs to my empire. All will be built according to my command. Worry not, your majesty. Our nation has supplied Kazuwari with the best architects to have ever graced Deora. The site will be a marvel for the ages. There will be no debate. This place will be built by Hoana hands and minds, or not at all. I will hear no more of it. I am certain a compromise can be found. If I might be dismissed, I will notify my superiors at once. Run the copper lines here and here. Make certain you lay them deep. The floor will inevitably sustain damage, and we can't have someone seeing the conduits. I can build it however you want, but if they find out, they'll never trust us again. Our work at Okaizo would be doomed. What if Wana workers visit the site when we're laying the stone? What if someone... Ukaizo will mean nothing if we cannot prove out our theories here and now. You worry about the masonry. I'll worry about the Juana. Hello again, Watcher. I apologize for the strangeness of our meeting place and the brusqueness of our invitation. You stand within the Crucible's heart as one of the stewards of this place. It pains me to admit that you've caught us in a state of floundering weakness. Besides the seeking face, you mean? I am Axica. I designed the Crucible. I am responsible for it. Ah, the soul of an ancient Anamancer. Fantastic. In his desperate flailing to escape, Wahami smashed the pillar. Now, the flow of souls through this place is choked, and the Crucible... doomed. But now you're here, and I imagine the gods follow on your heels. That is not... ideal. By severing the Crucible's connection to the rest of the beyond, Wahami has limited Galloway's influence on Kazuwari. I can only imagine that he has sent an agent to reclaim it by force. His beast will drench Kazuwari in blood. But first, he will destroy this statue and all within it. The two of us included. Another reason, Watcher, why you must- That this place also serves as an island of bounty proved an unintended but desirable outcome. You may have noticed that Kazuwari is overrun with beasts of unusual size. Animals touched by Galloway. Once or twice. Such creatures were not of this island prior to the Crucible's construction. You could say it was made in your image. 
in a manner of speaking. Tawamawai was a mythic figure among the ancient Tuana, a great three-headed monster, the greatest of all creditors. We featured it prominently in our designs here on Kazuwari, in part to appease their overbearing king. Over time, Galloway bent the figure to his purposes. He may have stolen its identity, but in doing so, he granted it a kind of godhood. What do you mean? Ah, yes. I should remember I am speaking to a Watcher. When we conceived of the Crucible, we were on the cusp of several major breakthroughs in our study of the soul and the beyond. The Juana, however, did not share our interests. As a result, much of this place was constructed in secret, away from their attention. That the Crucible's true nature remains hidden to this day, I take a measure of pride in it. Yep, so once again, the Ingwithans are responsible for all of this bullshit. A Watcher can seek souls in the in-between, but more curiously, those souls can see them back. The mechanism within the Crucible attempts to replicate that signaling property only without a mortal body that is susceptible to death or disease. Every hunter chases Galloway in their own way. Mine was to have Galloway come to me. Do I hear an accusation in your words? To a hunter, or a god of hunting, the term trap is no pejorative. But yes, we designed the Crucible to capture the essence of those who met defeat here, and some of the power of the victorious. Within the Crucible, today's hunters may learn, firsthand and without coddling, the lessons <clears throat> that slew hunters of the past. That kind of conflicts with what was said earlier about them lingering for a time and going back to the wheel. So do they stay or does a part of them stay? Do I hear an accusation oh, no, to a that hunter, one, but yet within the crucible, today's hunters may learn well, do I hear a to a hunter? Okay, well it went both ways. Within the whatever. crucible. Today do I hear a to a hunter, but yes. Okay, so whatever. within the crucible. No. We were the first set to this task. Always us three. I cannot imagine it any other way. It may not even be possible to leave, but Wahami will try. This is no typical temple to Galloway. It was designed to advance our understanding of soul manipulation. Actually, the talents of the Watchers inspired aspects. Know that he lives up to his role as and good. Okay, well, I didn't get a whole lot of options here, so. And time to save, because, you know. There's the Audra that's been broken. <clears throat> Eruke's piglet finally arrives. You hunt well, champion. Your fury pleases Tawamoai, as does the blood you have spilled in his name. The strength and fury will live forever. You will speak for Tawamoai. You will become as a god. Tawamohai would not have guided your slaughter were this moment not meant to be. You have earned this price! You have earned eternal life! Take it! I needed the souls of the vanquished to fill this place, to gorge on them and ready myself for the trials to come. But most importantly, I knew the broken pillar would bring you 
A lure that would attract only a watcher. You will fix the river of souls. Then we gaze into each other as only watchers can. Until I wear your living hide and you walk the heavens. When I walk in your body, I will adapt, will be free, will hunt Ayora once more! Is that even possible? Uh, seems a bit early in y'all's courtship for that. Ain't nobody ever taught you how to ask politely? Yes, yes. Would expect as such. I bash better than I talk. But I will try to answer clearly. That sounds like one of my more recent D&D characters. So, what is it? <laughs> Which one? I have seen much. Maybe too much. And watcher to others. I am also watcher to self. I can see many of my deaths from before Wahami was Wahami. When I was more boy than man, I would dream of past lives and past deaths. Of course! Greatest slayer must be born among greatest hunting trails. Make peace. Tawamawai teaches all to struggle for better. I will not be denied the thrill of the living chase any longer. Yes, yes. And Watcher has come to an answer. What is there to consider? Perhaps you need a moment to grieve? Okay, nope. I didn't get the, uh... This might do it. This might be the way. If I remember right. Watch it. The slaying face is nothing if not predictable. There might be some way to appeal to his pride, however. Where would I go when you're it? Okay, well, she wasn't of much help. You return. What would you have of me? That's... It is a surprisingly interesting idea. Especially given that you are a watcher. Theoretically speaking, you bridge the gap between the physical world, the here, and the metaphysical world. Wahami was a watcher in life. He may know something. I do not. Theoretically. Though, I highly doubt it. Wahami will not listen to my words, however. I suspect he will only respect force. Ultimately, it's less a matter of how he leaves than what he leaves behind. Nature abhors a vacuum. Any attempt to leave one here will tear Wahami apart. If he is to escape, he must leave something in his place. Something of significant spiritual puissance. Whatever suffered such a fate, however, would become enslaved by Galloway's will. And yes, you can choose to give him your body and that will start the ending of the game. The total game. So obviously not, ending, not recommended. They would lose themselves, subsumed into the role of the faces of the hunt. Wahami will not listen to my words, however. I suspect what would you patience? Okay. Let's see if she's got anything. Watcher? 
The slaying face is... There might be some way to appeal to his pride, however. Though we are united in service of Tuabawa, I fear this course of act. Do what must be done. I assure you, Wahami corrupted the flow of souls. Where would I go when you Okay, uh, let's see. You return. What would you patience is Okay, um, I'm not sure if I did this right, we'll see. The Watcher returned. Is he ready to accept his fate? Yes, yes. So, what is it? Yes, yes. And Watcher has come to an answer? What is there to perhaps... Okay, wait a minute. The Watcher... Is he ready to accept his fate? I hear you. Speak. He comes? Ha! I knew he would! Yes! I would take his little lizard from him. But his tie to the beast would be strong. Without my axe, we would stand little chance of slicing it free. Okay, I'm completely unfamiliar with this. I should send you back on the air of your words. No, I don't think I will. I hear you. Speak. Now the hell so we must settle this with strength. Tawamo, I would have it no other way. A test of might is what Tawamo, I would want. Ah, Ulu, then. I think you still have to fight him, but the dialogue... Basically, all three of the faces are actually facets of the same soul. Just in different lifetimes. And I guess I botched that, so you know we can't bring that forth. see in here put her on her ass this is futile come on So what the hell happened? Did he get lose his concentration? This is futile. Nope. Okay, good. Laboratory on C. 
I need some help here. <laughs> Okay, I guess he got broke. Alright, well, that's fine. Not exactly my area of expertise. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expertise. Oh, quit your bitching, you know, Oloth. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone around here's got some lay on hands going on here. Who was it? Uh, Cam, Ari. Expertise. Bring them down. I'll think we're the Not exactly my area of expertise. Jim. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? We're dropping like flies. Ah, shit. Well, whatever. We have become fractured, turned upon ourselves. Still, I am thankful for your intervention, albeit deeply ashamed of our conflict. I will not flee from the duty of maintaining this sacred place. The Crucible Games shall be as eternal as the seasons and the oceans, and each year, the pool of memories will grow deeper with stories of battle. All that remains is for the flow of souls to be restored with the tooth of Toamawai. With that done, you should be able to leave this place. Live well. You call this fine Edir and Mead? I call it unfit for things. And of course, as predictable, you or we're not done quite yet. How does one possess the time to collect this many fish? Where did that come from? A question for later. What matters is that you're back. And just in time. A huge reptile erupted from the Inland Sea. It attacks the Crucible. Humairi fights it, but without your aid, I fear she'll feed it instead. Kazuari needs you, champion. Go. Save her. Cap, there'll be three Kraken worth of hungry nearby. Okay, well, okay, I can't use that. I'm gonna go rest. I don't give a fuck. Gallon Wayne can just wait his fucking turn. I 
Shadow Champion, what can I interest? Of course. When the wheel has ground you all to dust, only I will remain. Leave it to me. Yeah, I think I botched that, but whatever. Like I said, this is not my favorite of the three DLCs, so you know, shit happens. The proper way is to get all three souls to recognize, or all three faces to recognize they are of the same soul, and they harmonize a little bit. Oh, fuck. Fucking cat, get down. Damn. Anyway, they harmonize a little bit better and, you know, you reconnect the uh, flow of souls and shit turns out better. I think you still have to fight Galloween, though. I'm not sure. It's been like a while. Oh, shit. God hasn't walked through. What the hell you say? You trespass on sacred soil. The beast's spirit rolls over you in a fetid wave. The stench of rotting fish nearly overpowering. A light sparks in its beady eyes, and the shouting from the stands fades away to nothing, replaced by the guttural rumble of Galloway's displeasure. This is my temple, my island, my security against Aethus's madness! My connection to the island is returned, yet it is not as it was. Hey, I did my best. Fuck you very much. What happened in the beyond? What did you do? Weave your tail now, while you have a tongue still to tell it. I must admit, I'm surprised. You are known among the gods as a willful and contrary creature. Yeah. I only regret that a scavenger like you stole my kills before I had the chance to crush them in my own claws. By your actions, the Crucible's trial will persevere through many seasons to come. Those who fail their trials and give their lives to the arena will remain a part of it. As it should be. You stole that relic from the beyond? Pray to your favored god, Herald of Barris, for your death is near at hand. Whoops. The time for bargaining has passed. Accept your death with honor, Herald of Barris. And pray you possess more cunning in your next life. Demo whoops. Like shuttered lamplight, the glow of Galloway's presence leaves the beast's eyes. Dark encroaches at the edge of your vision, until all you can see is a pinprick of light swimming in the emptiness of the beyond. Suddenly, the light blooms, and its force shoves you back into your body. We're not alone. Oh, holy fuck, it's way, way, way overleveled. Oh boy. We're gonna put some blockers up. Uh, 
Okay, why I didn't bring these in, I don't know. Actually, you know, I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use this. You found it! It usually works! I'm feeling the strain. Oh, wait, whoops, he's... Well, anyway, try to knock it over. <clears throat> this thing isn't doing the job. Okay, there's Ponsel Hot. Start putting some fucking hurt on that thing. Oh, the elf holds his grimoire like a The initiate. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, holy shit. It just fucking ate me. Oh wait, she's got that. No, oh, that's already in. Now I can't summon anything else with her because that'll blow that away. Fuck. is in looks like okay um let me see what's he got in stock nothing okay no and thing Okay, so he's tapped on those. Um, what do I got it available? What do I have left in stock? Wait, uh, no, he's already got. I think I'll, I'll leave that alone. I don't want to burn that up. Okay, that's still going out. That can't make a dent. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's try again. Great bird. That was about as useful as a bump on a. Why can't you get your fucking spells out quicker, lady? Spells wrong with you. Oh bullshit! I better not be fucking dying already. That's really going to piss me off. Okay, so what's his problem? Why can't I do anything with what's going on with him? Staggered, but. Oh, shit. He's done. Thanks for all the help, you Mary, or whatever the, the fuck your name is. The into a heap of blood and scales. Fucking useless as a fucking tits on a boar hog. Just want to sit there and finger fuck yourself while I'm doing all the damn work. The massive creature expires with a tired hiss, and you sense the familiar phenomenon of a soul departing a body. Only the energies involved are of a size and scale that threatens to overwhelm you. The essence rages around you as if desperate for direction. You can provide it. Tendrils of soul energy twist off in branching tributaries, flowing toward the massive statue into the waters of the arena, and out toward the dense jungle. Okay, so we've got some more experience going on here. That's good. It's over then? The souls have been quieted? That explains much, doesn't it? Thank you for calming their turmoil. I'll remember what you did, even in my next life. Promise. It wouldn't be a day in my life if I were not solving some idiot's problems for them. Now we live. We seek. And we slay. We survive. Well, not without my fucking help, you don't, obviously. I hear tale of another artifact ripe for the reaping. Yeah, well, I'm ripe for the rest. Welcome back. I hope I can be of service. Fricolade, you are most blessed. If I might ask, what did you learn from them? When you put it that way, it sounds rather familiar, doesn't it? Incredible. Strange to think of all these things we see. And what lurks beneath them. Just one of Kazuari's many lessons. Your performance during the final battle impressed many. The faces of the hunt included. If you would hunt more artifacts, or the seeking face whispered of a tapestry, stolen on the seas, now hanging in a shop on the water. Filch it from the filcher, and the spider shall be pleased. The slain face growled of a statue, that of a great tracker, defaced. Hunt the hunter's crown in a ruined Juana city, long flooded and 
overgrown. The surviving face respects even the survival of a wounded god. Though she burned, the exiled queen persisted. You now know as I know. I believe you can um, place the uh, items you get in here. I guess you can still do these, but you'll get the loot for it, but you won't get credit as far as, you know, the, uh, well, the faces go. <clears throat> that said, I'm going to rest, and let's see, I think I might have another few minutes. My patrons will sleep easier knowing that you dealt with that beast. But you should rest easiest of all. Of course. That's all we get. Okay, well, anyway. I was chewing through Cad Nua's foundation long before Aeoth has finished the job. All right, well, that's it for uh, Seeker, Slayer, and Survivor. Or Seeker, uh, Seeker, Slayer, Survivor. Hey, if the TV show Survivor was like this, I'd actually watch it. Never really got the fascination with reality TV. I mean, seriously. Especially considering that it's not actually reality. It's a bunch of heavily edited bullshit set up to make things look a certain way. Alright, let's blow this fucking pop stand. Now the ancient Juana city he was talking about, I believe that's somewhere around in here, but we'll deal with that later. We're gonna I am probably gonna be doing most of the scavenger hunt stuff off screen. If for no other reason than to reap the EPs. You could, you know, actually reach the anchorage and then, you know, anchor the ship. Yeah, we'll do this real quick and then we'll call it an episode. We got just enough time, I think. Okay, wait a minute, let's... Okay, so I guess that doesn't disappear once you're done with it. More fresh fruit. Yeah, this looks like an inviting and charming um, home decor situation here. Someone quick, call Martha Stewart. Our 
yeah, fuck all y'all. Okay, well, they're ancient, so I guess that makes them a little bit more beefier than usual. Okay, well, I'll just let him do his thing. I am not getting... Aw, oh, motherfucker. I was gonna say, I'm not getting my ass beat by just some regular mooks. Mooks, then I'll promptly get my ass beat. Awesome. What's wrong with me? Hobbled. Oh, symbol of skein. Okay, well... Oh. Can't believe I actually have to strategize these motherfuckers. Can't take much more. <laughs> I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm pretty fucking annoyed. What's that? Oh, I forgot I have that. Shit. I need to keep... I need to actually look at my damn gear more. Oh, thank word that rape earth awaits me. I'm feeling this... I found it! Okay, you know what? Fuck you, we're just gonna start dumping summons in. Okay, yeah, if I get killed here, I'm just gonna call it. Hey, we had some good times. It's kind of hard to do shit when your cat keeps getting in shit she shouldn't be. Okay. I hope nobody saw that. Unfucking believable. Okay. I'll have to load out the fucking vampire again, I guess. Undead, whatever you want to call it. Oh, now they're summoning more shit. That's awesome. Dick move. This thing isn't doing the job. What weapon what are you mean? using? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, well, that's enough of that. We'll come back to this. With that, um, I will catch you guys later. We will finish up Sansa's request. And then I think I will go ahead and start the third and final DLC. Um, I'm going to do most of the scavenger hunting things off camera. They're all over Aora, but not Aora, but all over the Dead Fire, basically. Um, they'll light up when you get to them, pretty much. So, you know, it's not that difficult. You just have to basically cover ground you've already covered, things like that. All right, guys, I will catch you then.